South Dakota is getting ready to elect new leaders next month, but that's not all voters will be deciding. You also have to answer five ballot questions, including Amendment W, which aims to fight government corruption. Now, Kelly Land's Kelly Volk shows us what it would mean for South Dakota. Kelly? Good evening, Sammy. Supporters of this amendment say it's an answer to the repeal of the voter approved initiated measure 22. Last year, lawmakers repealed IM-22, saying they would pass replacement bills to fulfill some key wishes of the voters. That's why they established the Government Accountability Board. The board can review and investigate any person holding a statewide office and employees of the executive branch. But Amendment W supporters say it's not enough. When lawmakers came out of the 2017 session, they tried to create an oversight board but legislators exempted the legislative branch from its oversight. And so, once again, we're kind of left with, uh, you know, inches ahead of where we were at uh, before 2016, which was not a good place to begin with, you know, the kind of bottom of the list when it comes to accountability. Amendment W calls for about $389,000 in state funds each year for an ethics law enforcement fund. Supporters say this money would help fund the board's mission. But opponents say this is unnecessary. The criticism that they didn't include the legislature under that ethics commission is fairly legitimate, but you don't need a $400,000 a year independent tribunal that swallows the rest of the Constitution to fix that. We ought to place the legislative branch under the authority of the ethics commission that was created in a bipartisan vote two years ago. This amendment would also bring other changes related to campaign finance and lobbying laws. You can read it in its entirety in this story on Kelloland.com. Now, we're going to dig deeper into Amendment W during our ballot special right here on Kello TV. You can watch it on October 28th right after our late local news, Sammy. Thank you, Kelly.